Hey, this is Russell Brunson, and I want to welcome you to uh, this month's training. And this month, we're going to be talking about um, a script that's it's almost so simple, yet uh, the the lion's share or the majority of all the money you make will come from this script. That's what's uh, so interesting about it. Uh, usually, you know, we've got the star story solution, the who, what, why, how, a webinar script. All these other things are selling the front end thing, right? To get the first yes, and the first yes typically is the hardest, which is why I really like free plus shipping offers or perfect webinars where I've got a long time to pitch them or you know, Star Story Solution where we've got this big, huge structure to get them to buy. Uh, but after they after they bought the first thing and they said yes, to get the second yes traditionally is is uh, almost a million times easier. Um, and uh, i got some really cool things to share with you guys today. And, uh, and again, this script, even though it seems really, really simple, um, if you can master it, it'll make you the most amount of money. This is where your profit comes from, is from this uh, from this script right here. I remember reading, I don't know if it's true or not, but they say that um, like grocery stores, that they uh, that it takes them the first like 28 days of the month to break even, and then the last three days is where they actually make their profit. And uh, this is kind of the same thing. Everything else you're doing in your business is, is there to break even, and this right here is where you start making your profit. So... Um, that's why I love this script. Now, a couple of things first off to talk about with upsells, and there's some core things that uh, I need you to understand. If you understand these things, it'll be it'll, it'll help a ton. So the first thing is when you're building out like your upsell funnel, um, one of the first really important things I want you to, to think about, um, and I'll show you an example of one here. Let me pull one up real quick. Okay, so here's kind of a, a visual behind the scenes of our recent book launch. And uh, you'll see kind of what, how our upsells convert and numbers and I probably shouldn't show everyone this, but you guys are getting it because uh, I care about you. Um, so the people who came through this funnel, um, our upsell, so our first upsell right here was $197, and we got a little under 5% conversion rate, but 1,177 orders at $197 a piece. So you know, it makes a, a lot of money when all said and done. Upsell number two was the $297 offer, and our conversions there is a little lower, 1.92%, but again, 416 orders at 300 bucks a pop. Uh, it adds up when you're when you're putting all the traffic through. So uh, now one thing I want to show you, and I'll show you on both these pages here. So if I click on this, um, one of the key lessons I want you to see is notice um, right here, it's wait, your order's not yet complete. Okay. When we first started doing upsells, um, before we, you know, learn the psychology and test a million things, one thing that we would always do is like, thank you so much for your order. Now, I've got a special one-time offer. Now, the problem with that is as soon as I say, thank you so much for your order, what are you thinking? You're like, oh, I'm done. The process is finished, right? But, uh, and so because of that, like you, you've closed off that loop, that buying loop has been closed. And now you're trying to reopen it again. And it's harder to get them now to get engaged to want to buy the product. So you notice that whenever I'm doing these upsells, I'm never saying your order's complete. I'm saying, wait. Your order is not complete. I'm keeping that buying cycle open, and then I go make that, their offer. So it's wait, your order's not complete yet. And over here on, on the second one, it's very similar uh, messaging. Again, it's not over yet. Okay, you've got one one other special offer here. So that's kind of that's how we do this funnel now. You know, it's a couple of other elements. I've got elements here on the page that are almost complete. I've got the video here. Um, I've got a countdown clock. I give them 10 minutes. I show them what normal price is. I give them a discount. And that's kind of how I structure mine. And then I have the no thanks link here. Notice this page is very similar. I got my headline, video. Um, and I like changing the colors because if you if your all your upsell pages are identical, people get confused and they're like, wait, I just I just said no to this, you know, or I just said yes to this. So notice that they're similar, but different colors, different things, just so that it pops enough that they know it's a different page. Um, same thing, you know, countdown clock, discount. Uh, what normal price is, discount. And those are the things that we use for maximum uh, conversion. Also down here, notice it's not like, no thanks, take in the members area. It's no thanks, please don't add perfect webinar secrets to my members area, this huge discount. Okay, it's a negative qualifier. If I just say, no thanks, take me to the members area, that's a benefit. I don't want to give them a benefit for, for clicking on this. I want the opposite of that. Okay. Um, the other thing I didn't do on this page, uh, and I should, Dagan Smith taught me this, but it's amazing, is when someone clicks on the no thanks, instead of just taking to the next page, have this trigger pop up that says, are you sure? And have like a little video there trying to sell them. And they say no there, then that's a no thanks link that actually takes them to the next page. So that's an update I learned recently from him that we'll be kind of adding here on this page, is, if that makes sense. So kind of recap, when you click here, instead of just going to the next page in the funnel, it would actually trigger the pop up, it would come up and say, are you sure you don't want to buy this? And then have a video testimonial of someone who's bought it saying, this is amazing. And then they can say, all right, add to my car or no. And something like he got an extra like four or 5% of the people to buy by triggering the pop-up there instead of just the no thanks. 
So kind of cool. Now, if you notice this, on these videos, I usually start immediately, uh, initially, and usually the first one or two steps of the script, I cover right here in the video me talking, and I transition quickly over to PowerPoint. So I'll show you this, for example, so you kind of see. Hey, this is Russell again, and first off, I wanna thank you so much for ordering the Dotcom Secrets book. You are gonna love it. This book literally is gonna show you all of the sales scripts, the funnels, the things we use in our business to help grow our companies, and I'm excited for you to have it. Now, I wanna make you one special offer because one of the things that a lot of people need help with after they start implementing these things is they need help with traffic. And so I wanted to give you a really special deal on one of our best selling products of all time called Instant Traffic Hacks. Let me tell you a little bit more about what it is. Let me ask you a question. If you were to, and I transition over to PowerPoint. Now some people do the whole thing in PowerPoint slide, Some people, but for me, um, especially if they just bought something, I like them to resonate with me personally. So I usually start the script with me on camera and I transition over to this, but you can do both ways. So that's just kind of the way that I, I choose to do a lot of mine. And uh, I've done it because throughout the sales process, they've seen my face. And if it's me telling them to buy it, I feel like they're gonna be more likely to buy it than if it's just straight to PowerPoint. So that's kind of a, you know, more of a style thing that whatever kind of fits with what you're doing more, most. Okay, so that's the first thing to understand is that process. Second thing that's really important to understand is offer sequencing, okay? Um, and so I'll come back here to this page. Um, for this is our book offer. So the, the first page that we sold obviously was the free book. Um, which is our free plus shipping book. I'm sure most of you guys have probably seen. If not, you're crazy, go buy it. But here's the, the book offer, right? Now, um, the thing that we, I disappeared, there I am. So the thing we learned from, uh, it was actually the book offer we did before this, which was Dotcom Secrets Labs, is I sold the Dotcom Secrets Labs book, which is a book all about split testing and conversion. So in my head, I'm like, okay, they bought split testing and conversion. That means they're interested in conversion. So the next page, I want to sell them more split testing and conversion stuff. Um, you know, if you look at the supplement world, the, the these laws are a little bit different, right? In the supplement world, we sell supplements and we have to sell more of the same thing and it works. But it's way different in info products. Info products, if I sell something and if my upsell is more of the same thing, it almost always flops. And it took me a while to kind of figure out why. And I think, and again, you never know why a test works or doesn't work, but I think I kind of figured out why. And I think the reason why is that when somebody comes to your site to buy something, they've got a problem, right? And so they come to your site to buy a weight loss product, they come to buy a conversion book, or whatever that is. And as soon as you as soon as you explain, as soon as they buy that thing, even though even though they haven't lost weight yet, in their mind that 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 pain, that itch, they've scratched that itch and that pain is now gone. Because they're waiting for this product to come or they know they're gonna go through it. So in their mind, that problem's been solved for them. And so the next page is like, hey, thanks for buying the conversion book, here's some more cool conversion stuff. And their heads are like, I just bought the conversion thing. Why would I buy more? conversions, it doesn't make sense, they, like that itch has already been scratched. And so when we launched that Dotcom Secrets Labs books, we literally did the entire funnel twice. Um, no, actually more than that, excuse me, I think twice with different conversions. The third time we did it with a better offer sequencing, and the fourth time we did it with the scripts, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, but we had to change it. And so for me, what I always do is I gotta think about if they just bought this first product, okay, so they just bought Dotcom Secrets Labs, they bought the conversion book, or maybe they bought this book, which is you know more like the, the, the funnels and the things like that. What's the next thing that they need, right? This, that, that problem has been itched. So no longer they need conversions or funnels, right? That, that, that issue's been fixed. Now the next page, what, what's the new issue they have? So for me, it's like, hey, you just bought this book on conversion, but what you need is you need more traffic. Or you just bought this book on sales funnels, now you need more traffic. So for me, the next logical upsell is a traffic product, okay? So offer sequencing is huge. Somebody asked me at our last event, like, you know, what, what are the price points? You should go from this price to this price to this price. And I told them, like, it's less about the price points for me and more about the offer sequencing. What's the next logical thing? What's the next logical gap that I've got to fill after I buy this product? So from conversions, I need to sell traffic. Okay, if you're in weight loss, maybe your first book's like, here's uh, here's all my diet eating plans. So the upsell might be now, here's my workout plans, right? I solved this problem, but now here's the next problem I have is how do I work out? And I solve that one, the next one might be, you know, how do I, what supplements do I take? Or something like that where you're, you're taking them through a logical sequence of events. And so that's the next thing is, is offer sequencing is huge, okay? And so think through that. Um, you know, nine times out of 10 when I see someone's upsell, there's no like logical, progression of offers and uh, and that's usually why they they suffer from bad conversions is their their offer sequencing is horrible and a lot of times just changing the offer sequencing or explaining it in a way where they're understanding there's a sequence there's there's something that correlates between offer one two and three and there's a reason why you're taking them down this path when you do that and you, you tie those you bridge those things together you're much more likely to convert from page to page to page okay so hopefully that makes sense so the two core things i want you to really get is offer sequencing and then also keeping the buying loop open with 
you know, wait, your order's not yet complete as opposed to just, <clears throat> you know, just going straight to the upsells. All right, so now let's transition over to the script. So again, this is the script here. And um, and uh, this script is powerful for a couple reasons. Usually it's pretty short. Like this, the whole sales video is usually anywhere from two to five minutes long. Like it's not long, even though I'm selling a hundred or a 200 or 500 or even a thousand dollar product. And um, the, and I learned this lesson from one of my friends, his name's Tim Irway or TJ, depending on how close of a friend you are with him. Um, and it's funny because he bought the DCS Labs book on the third rebuild, right? First two upsells, or first two times we built out that funnel, we sold more conversion things, more conversion things. The third time, we transitioned it to a traffic product and it started converting better. But he went and bought the product, I remember, and then he, he messaged me, he's like, hey man, I bet your upsell sucks, huh? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I bet it's not converting very well, is it? And I'm like, well, it's doing all right. And he's like, what are the numbers? And I showed him, he's like, no, that's not doing good at all. And he said, I know the reason why. I'm like, oh yeah, what's that? And he's like, hold on, I'll make you a video real quick. So he made me this video, and I actually have it, so I'm gonna show you guys the video right now, and I hope he doesn't mind. He's probably gonna kill me, but um, it's important because what he gave to me, this gift he gave to me, has been worth um, at least a million dollars so far, and probably more than that. And it it's a gift and a lesson I want you to learn as well, because I used to always make my episode videos very long, very similar to like the Star Story Solutions script. I was redoing that again on each page in the funnel, and when he told me this, and you'll see the message he kind of gave me, he gave me this message, we went back and we tweaked it, and our conversions on our upsells like three or four x um, pretty consistently along the board. And so it's it's a lesson that's that's important enough for you to understand. So I'm gonna play his video right now, and again, uh, TJ, if you're watching this, I apologize, man, for uh, showing your video, but it meant a lot to me, and I think it'll mean a lot to everyone who's watching this right now. So let's watch that video real quick. Okay. Going to give you the quick drive-by here, and I'll start with one word. It's a powerful word. It's a magic formula for upsell videos, and it is brevity. That's really, really important. Uh, instead of going into, you know, all the stories and all the stuff about, you know, what happened with your business, get down to brass tacks. They said yes already. They said yes to more sales and more money in less time. So all you have to do is get them to say yes again. So here's what I mean. You're talking to a customer at this point. I know they only spent like whatever it costs for shipping, but they said yes with their credit card. So the winning formula with upsells in my experience, and again, I've tested this before. Uh, in fact, just recently, I forgot this lesson and put like a 20 minute video upsell. But the winning formula is to cut right down to the chase, get it, get there as quickly as possible, and just affirm their initial decision, and then offer a way to get, you know, three x the results twice as fast or something to that effect. No story or anything like that. If you do mention a story, do it in passing. So here's the formula. It goes like this. It's really simple, dude. You made a smart choice. Here's why. Um, you ordered this because you wanted to make more sales and money. So I have a question for you. How would you like to get three times or three X the results and get them in the next seven days or three days or whatever if you can move fast? And in fact, here's your guarantee. I will bet $500 of my own money and guarantee that you get those results. So this is your tie back to that original yes that they gave you, the one about more money and faster. That's essentially what they're buying split testing results for. So if you said yes, I've got something extremely special and valuable for you today. A while back, I put on an exclusive event where I revealed massively valuable stuff, blah, 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 blah. I originally sold this event for yada, 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 and people have paid upwards of $10 million for it. Now, because you said yes to my split testing dealio, and you're now a customer, I'm gonna give this away to you right now at a fraction of that. So I'd like to tell you more about this, blah, 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 blah. Now I know what you might be thinking, Russell, do I seriously have to sit down and watch 14 hours of videos? You say absolutely not. Even though I recommend watching them when you can, I've made this super usable for you by uh, chunking it down just to the meat and potatoes, that's it. I did this by putting together some super ninja traffic hacker shortcut cheat sheets you can use and implement immediately. Uh, it's all about results and fast and speed and blah, 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 blah. One of these methods I call the triple X method. It has nothing to do with porn. It'll get you this result. It can be done in this single afternoon. The next thing is the blog traffic siphon, I don't know, magic system. Set it up once you have all the traffic you want. One of my favorites though, and you're gonna love this, is 
a sneaky way to hijack traffic from uh, your biggest competitors. Like I hijacked this offer from Digital Marketer. I'm just kidding. Uh, seriously, all you have to do, dude, is follow this formula. It's really easy. It's it's much, much more effective than doing the story stuff. Get right down to it. Um, so after you've presented the offer, you've gone over the benefits, it's future cast time, you know, picture how much more money you'll make. Just one of these methods can make your money back and then some within days or hours. Uh, then go into your normal call, of ac call to action. Your guarantee, it works or I'll re not only refund, but pay you whatever you promise to pay them, like 500 bucks. Then value stacking, then scarcity, then second call to action, then your testimonials. Keep it short, keep it simple. No story, no fluff. This is an upsell. They've already said yes. They are already buyers. Try it, test it. Let me know when you've made a ton of money because of it. But when you do make a ton of money, I expect a steak dinner. Thanks. Talk soon. Okay, so do you guys get that? So the key here, like he said, is brevity. Okay, you're not trying to, to go and sell somebody a, a whole new thing and trying to, you know, like it, it's, they already said yes, you just gotta get them to say yes again. Okay, so I'll kind of walk you through the script and how I do it. And, and this, again, the script is, is a path. Like if you watch my videos, you'll be like, Russell didn't follow this 100%. I do most of the time, but but I tweak things based on on a whole bunch of different reasons. A lot of times it's what I, my gut feels like, sometimes it's the offer, but as, as a, as a structure, we are following this almost to the T. Okay, so I'll go through the first thing, and this is key, is you have to confirm the initial decision, okay? Uh, one of the worst things you can do, and I've seen people do this, is like, thanks for buying that product, but you know, without this next thing, the product is horrible. You know, the product's not gonna work unless you've got this next thing. That's the, the best way to make your customers angry and never wanna buy from you again. You need, to, you need to fulfill what they just bought, okay? So for me, I usually confirm the initial decision. Hey, this is Russell Brunson, and uh, thank you so much for your order, what you just got. You are gonna love it, it's amazing. And in a second here, I'm gonna share with you, and I start transitioning over here, uh, a way to, to take this product that you just got and show you how to get three times the result in half the time or, or you know twice as fast or whatever you want to be but some kind of time thing how to do something faster and better okay more results in a faster faster time okay that's kind of this 3x 2x here is is faster results so three times as fast um with uh in uh in uh half the time or in uh you know twice as fast okay and then i come back i said but first i just really want to to stress out the fact that you made a smart decision. And the reason why is because entrepreneurs always struggle with whatever, and this product's gonna help you to do that, okay? So again, I'm really just kind of re-emphasizing that they made a smart choice. Giving me money was the smartest thing they ever could have done, and and I just wanna really um, solidify that initial buying decision, okay? If you don't, you're gonna upset people because they're gonna feel like you, you know, this is the bait and switch or whatever it is, and it's not. You're saying like, what you did was right. That was a good purchase, it was smart. Now I wanna help add to that. Like, let me show you what I can do. So then I come over here and transition to, let me ask you a question. So this product's coming out to you, I'm shipping the book out, whatever it is, but I wanna know like, like what would, it, like how would you like to get three times the result twice as fast? Okay, whatever, you, whatever, your, whatever your, your unit of measure is, okay? Some, some type of uh, bigger results here and, uh, and then how fast, twice as fast, half the time, whatever it is, but this is my, my unit where I'm measuring what they're doing, right? Because they already proved they wanted whatever this initial thing was, so I'm come back here and showing them how we can speed up, speed up the, get more results in less time, okay? That's kind of what this metric is here, and say now, if you can do that, I've got a very exclusive offer for you, and it's something that, um, if you wanna buy this typically, and I, I like having, whatever my upsells are, I like having them full price somewhere else, so I can say, look, if you go to our website right now, this is a thousand dollars, but we're gonna give you an exclusive deal because you bought the dot-com secrets book, because you bought my weight loss product, because whatever, this deal is exclusive for you right here, right now on this page and on this page only. If you leave, it's twice as much on the normal website, but right here today, you're getting a huge discount. It's exclusive just to you because you purchased, because you invested in the thing on the page prior, right? So it's very exclusivity to them and making them feel good about, wow, I bought this, now I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting this other thing. Now, the key of this guys, is one-time offers have to be one-time offers. If you offer the same price somewhere else, for this, you know, like it's got to be something cool like that because um, if not, then people will just get to know, like, oh, I can just buy this later. You've got to make it very exclusive and make it a special offer. Okay. Then you're gonna come back to um, you're gonna get more results faster. It's gonna be uh, you know speed, whatever, whatever like the big benefits are because this is what people people buy upsells. Kind of like what Tim said when you guys listened to uh, to the video earlier. 
Like you can get faster results and get you know better speed, whatever those things are, more results. Like really just tying it to like what they're what they're going to get. The timeline is going to speed things up and make it better for them. Okay. Then I transitioned to what I call the one thing. And this was a big aha we had. Um, you know, the first video we had for upsell in DCS Labs before Tim kind of gave me this feedback. I you know I'm selling. Um, it was selling a course that was um, two different events. So in whole, it was seven days of event. So I was trying to go through like. You're gonna learn this, you're gonna learn this. I'm going through like all this stuff they're gonna learn, right? I think the problem is that they're going through this is the two or three minute video and, and all really quick they're like getting really overwhelmed. I'm like, wow, I gotta, that's a lot of work, right? It seems like a lot of work. And that was one of his big things is he's like brevity, brevity. So I'm like, how do I, you know, I got so much stuff in here. Like I wanna tell them they're gonna get, but like how do I make, how do I shrink this down? How do I get brevity when I'm giving them a seven day event, you know? And I started thinking, I said, and I talk, I thought about how like, how I've got a big belief pattern with any kind of offer, like front end offers or upsells or webinars that you've got to focus on one core thing, right? I remember Perry Belcher told me, and I've talked about this in other trainings, that, that anytime they had, a, they had a sales letter that tried to sell two or more things, it would always bomb. They had to be focused on one core concept. So I, th I kind of took that and said, okay, what's the one thing I'm trying to sell here? So I looked back at that seven day event and I was looking through it and there's like one thing in there that was powerful. And for me, it was, it was this concept called the stack that I learned from Armin Morin. And I probably spent 15 minutes at the event of the seven days on the stack. But that's what I brought out. I said, look, now in this training, it's a seven day long training, there's tons of stuff, I can go through it all, but there's one thing I really wanna stress because this piece, like this little thing that I'm gonna share with you is gonna change everything for you. And all I do is I'm selling the stack, okay? The one thing, I talk about the stack and how the stack is the most amazing thing ever. And I tell a really short, compressed story about that one little thing and how much money has made me and how great it's been. And then, and then I kind of I kind of mentioned that you know on top of it, you get access to everything else, but the stack like if you have this stack, everything else will just it will, will make sense, right? So the one little piece I pull out, so pull out of all you know all the content, everything you're giving them in your upsell, like what's the one thing? The one thing is to give them the biggest impact, and that's what I talk about here. The one thing that they have to have, you cannot live without it. And by the way, you're gonna get a bunch of other stuff as well, but this is the one thing, and I sell the one thing. And that was one of our big differentiators on you know, our multiple different versions of the this, of this sequence was when we pulled out the huge long explanation of the seven days, what they're gonna get, and brought in just one thing, uh, it changed the metrics. It was a huge conversion booster. Okay, so we talk about the one thing, and we kind of talk about everything else you're gonna get, and we start future casting. This is where we start talking about, like, imagine like after you've got this, the stack, after you got this one thing, imagine what your life's gonna be like. Imagine what will happen when you, you know, anytime you do a webinar, you close sales, or anytime you, do, whatever it is, right? And start future casting. Imagine what life's gonna be like. Imagine what will happen to your, to your business. Imagine what will happen to your body. Imagine what will happen to whatever it is that your product relates. And I wanna, I wanna put them in that, that future state, right? Like just imagine what it's gonna be like. like. If you just had this one thing, can you imagine what life would be like at that point? Okay, and then from there I transition to my call to action. So to get it, all you gotta do is down below, there's gonna be a button, click on that button, it says add to cart on it, or whatever it says, click on that button, and immediately I'll add this to your order so you don't miss out on the special exclusive one-time offer. Okay, now for those of you guys who are nervous, we've got a special guarantee. If this doesn't work out for you for whatever reason, just let us know, we'll give you money back. I've got a philosophy here in my company that if I can't make you money, I don't deserve yours. And so if this doesn't work for you, let us know, 30 day money back guarantee, you'll get your money back. Um, but I need, but I know you need this. Okay, I know you want this. I know you need it. And uh, and because of that, I'm gonna do a really special offer. Not only are you gonna get the one thing I talked about earlier, but I'm also gonna give you access to. And I start value stacking. I'll give you access to, um, to, to my training on this, my training on this. And, and I'm not going into a lot of detail. Okay, I'm not spending you know a minute on every single benefit or every single thing. I'm just saying really, really quickly. You get access to my webinar template. You get access to my traffic blueprint. You get access to this, to this, just a whole bunch of stuff where they're like. Wow, I need I need all that stuff. I want it all, right? Okay, and again, don't oversell it. You're just listing off all the cool stuff they're gonna get inside of there. And then you bring in some scarcity. So you know this special offer um, is not gonna be around forever. We've pulled these in the past and we're gonna pull this again. You know, the more people that get this, the less people are gonna buy it for full price on my normal site. So because of that, we've got scarcity. We're only gonna let a limited number amount um, have it. If this video is still up, means you're still able to get it. But if you come back tomorrow, this is probably gonna be gone. Good shot, it's gonna be gone. So we do have real scarcity here. So you pull some scarcity, then you call action again. So all you gotta do is click down below, click on the button, we'll add this to your order, and it's gonna be amazing. So I do my second call to action, and then what I do, I, if you've got testimonials, I love this, is to say, now while you're clicking on that button, um, I'm gonna show you um, some success stories, other people who bought this product who loved it, just so that you know that you're not the only one, and that this product can change your life as well. 
and then I do testimonial rush. So as many testimonials as I have, I'll put those videos in there and play the first persons and I'll just keep playing them and they'll, it'll just keep playing over and over and over again and waiting for them to click on that button, okay? If you don't have any testimonials yet, that's fine. You don't have to put them in there. But as you get them, come back and edit the video, plug those things in the end and keep growing it out and keep building it out um, because a lot of times people will sit there and they're thinking about it and keep seeing testimony after testimony. Eventually, it's all right and they click on it and boom, you got the sale right there, okay? And so that's the OTO script, you guys. It's pretty simple, right? It's not complicated. It's like a three to five minute video, um, but this this is the process. This is the, the script that makes your profit. And so it's good to master it and to become really, really good at it. Um, and that's kind of the script. So hopefully you understand those pieces. We talked about keeping the buying loop open, the correct offer sequencing, creating brevity, bringing in the, the OTO script, using the one thing and kind of using this as a template and uh, if you do that, you guys, I promise you, you'll see your OTO conversions go from wherever mine were at, which were a couple percentages, up to 2%, 3%, 5%, 10%. 10%. And, uh, you know, obviously, the lower your price point is, usually the higher it'll go. Um, for me, with most of our how to make money markets, I usually go from, from a free plus shipping to 197 to 297. That's just me. Uh, in other markets, we're in weight loss or dating. We usually can't go up that high. And But a lot of times, we'll get higher conversion rates. We might get 15, 20, 25% conversion, but it might only be a $47 upsell. Okay, So we shrink the prices but increase the conversions. And so it all kind of depends on your market. And uh, and it's worth you know just trying and testing different prices that seem to make sense. Uh, but if you follow this, this uh, blueprint and this process and this path, uh, I know that it'll give you guys what you need to be able to convert on all of your upsells. So try this one out and let me know how it works.